Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and on behalf of the management and staff here at Newton Hall and the Northumberland Registration Service, it's lovely to see you all here today to witness the marriage of James and Whitney. Marriage in this country means the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. Uh, I want to start uh, to thank Whitney's family, um, a lot of which can't be here today. Um, and I want to especially thank Whitney's uh, mum, Carmen, who also unfortunately can't be here today. Um, but I would have said if she was here, which is Mabu, hi, Carmen. When Whitney first introduced Lance and I to James, she looked me dead in the eye and said, don't talk, because she thought I would embarrass her. But we've gone full circle, and here I am now giving a speech at your wedding. <laughs> the institution of marriage must be entered into freely, voluntarily, and with the full and unreserved consent of you both. Therefore, by replying, I do, do you, James, take Whitney here present to be your lawful wedded wife, to be loving, loyal, and faithful to her, for the rest of your lives together. I do. And you, Whitney, take James here present to be your lawful wedded husband, to be loving, loyal, and faithful to him for the rest of your lives together. I do. I think it takes a special kind of person to put up with me. All my friends can attest to that. <laughs> um, and you, you keep pushing me to be the best person that I can be and you've become my best friend, my partner in crime, and I love you so much. I, James Beavers. I, James Beavers. Take thee, Whitney Raper. Take thee, Whitney Raper. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And Whitney. I, Whitney Raper. I, Whitney Raper. Take thee, James Beavers. Take thee, James Beavers. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Whitney and James, you have both made the declarations required by law and have made solemn and binding promises to each other. I ask all of your family and friends here today, having witnessed this marriage ceremony, and your commitments to each other to join with me in wishing you both success and happiness in your future life together. It therefore gives me the greatest of pleasure, James and Whitney, to say you are now united as husband and wife. And I think you know what comes next, James. <laughs> you may kiss your bride. going to be a very good guy for my sister because on the day we met he was wearing dad shoes and he's worn them every single day since. A lot of you may not know this but Whitney is actually one of the first people to be diagnosed with COVID-19. Yeah, she has had no taste for the last eight years, which if you don't know is about as long as their relationship. <laughs> your wedding roast, I mean toast. Cheers to the happy couple. Yeah.